Hello, hello, Reds. Welcome back again. Marcus Rashford escapes, three-game ban. Marcus Rashford is free from Manchester United's vital Champions League group tie with Bayern Munich after landing just the minimum ban for his Copenhagen sending off. The Three Lions striker was shocked to see Red after VAR intervened, sent off on VAR advice after catching Elias Jellert above the ankle as he attempted to shield the ball. The dismissal sparked a collapse as United lost 4-3 late on to fell to bottom of their Champions League group. Rashford was always going to miss next week's trip to the hell of Galatasaray's Ali Sami Yen Stadium, as that is the automatic punishment. But despite Rashford being dismissed for violent conduct, a three-match ban in the Prem, UEFA's disciplinary committee settled for a single-game suspension, adjudging he was only guilty of rough play. It means Rashford will be available to the Dutch manager when Harry Kane and co. arrive at Old Trafford for the likely decisive game next month. The Red Devils are currently bottom of Group A ahead of their trip to Turkey after losing three of their first four matches. Meanwhile, Lenz would welcome Rafael Varane back with open arms. The central defender, 30, is unsettled at United after losing his regular place. Bayern Munich are said to be monitoring the situation, albeit put off by Varane's £340,000 a week wages. And the ex-Real Madrid star's first club are dreaming he will go back to them in France, at some stage. Calcio Mercato quote Lens manager Frank Heise as saying, If Varane wants to return, we will welcome him with open arms. However, with the contract, it's another thing. I read that it would also be complicated for Bayern Munich to pay his salary, and if it, difficult, for them. But maybe he wants to come back. I don't know. Who knows? However, it is not a current debate to be addressed now. Elsewhere. Too many things against Ten Hag. Former Liverpool defender Jose Enrique believes Eric Ten Hag won't last the season as United boss. The Red Devils are sixth in the Premier League seven points off leaders Man City. And with just three points from four European games, they are also at risk of dropping out of the Champions League in the group stages. Despite Man United's current situation, club chiefs have decided to stand by Ten Hag. However, ex-Liverpool star Enrique has claimed that the Dutchman will leave Old Trafford before the end of the season. The Spaniard told Grosvenor Sport, I do not think Eric Ten Hag will finish this season at Manchester United. If they do keep him, it will be because they are wanting to stick with a long-term project and they believe that he can change things. But many players within the club are already against him. Rafael Varane is against him, and Ten Hag has done a couple of things which haven't gone down well with Jadon Sancho, Antony and Cristiano Ronaldo in the past. All these situations have arisen in a short period of time because he still hasn't been at the club for that long. On the other side, Real Sociedad centre-back Robin Lenormand is rated a serious target for United. Old Trafford boss Eric Ten Hag is tipped to offload Rafael Varane next summer. And the latest name on the list of potential replacements is eight-cap Spaniard Lenormand. Spanish outlet Nacional suggests the Red Devils are willing to pay the 27-year-old's reported 52 million of pounds. Release clause. Earlier this year, Arsenal were also talked up as a possible destination for the French-born ex-Brest star. Again and again. Mason Mount adds to Man United's woes with mystery injury as Red Devils fear lengthy spell out. So, Eric Ten Hag's injury list just seems to be getting bigger by the day, and fans fear the worst. The midfielder has undergone tests to determine the extents of the layoff, according to Fabrizio Romano. He adds that Mount is determined to work hard in order to return to action as soon as possible. United are now without 12 first-team players due to injury as Eric Ten Hag's problems grow. Although the extent of Mount's injury has not been confirmed, it was later claimed he has a calf problem which will sideline him for a month. The 24-year-old only arrived at Old Trafford in the summer but has been limited to just 12 appearances so far this term. A previous injury forced him out of six matches between August and September, stalling Mount's start to life at United. He has also been absent from all three of Gareth Southgate's England squads this season. Ten Hag is already without fellow midfielders, Casemiro and Christian Eriksen. 
Meanwhile, Lisandro Martinez remains absent with a foot injury, which is expected to keep him out until the new year. The United boss has put his squad's injury issues down to the Premier League, becoming a survival of the fittest, ahead of their return to action this weekend. As domestic football returns following the international break, United visit Everton on Sunday. A win is crucial for Ten Hag, as the Red Devils look to close the gap on the top four. On the other side, Eric Ten Hag ready to hijack Prem rivals as he lines up two transfer targets to replace Rafael Varane. Old Trafford tipped for defensive shakeup, with potential buys already identified. Nice's Jean-Claire Todibo and sporting Lisbon hero Goncalo Inacio are tipped to top Eric Ten Hag's shopping list for centre-backs next summer. But Arsenal and Chelsea rate Todibo highly, while Liverpool scouts have watched Inacio. United have stepped up their interest in the duo after Varane slipped way down the pecking order at Old Trafford. Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof and Johnny Evans are ahead of the frustrated Frenchman, with Lisandro Martinez due back from injury later this month. United's incoming investor Sir Jim Ratcliffe is understood to have cleared the sale of 30-year-old Varane as part of a wider squad shakeup. Todibo, 23, who joined Nice from Barcelona after a loan spell, has long been linked with the Red Devils. Inacio is a rising star, having won all his five Portugal caps this year. But Liverpool might force United's hand over the 22-year-old, as Anfield chief Jurgen Klopp is reportedly weighing up a January offer for him, again and again. It is confirmed that Manchester United could be kicked out of Europe next season if they finish with a lower league position than Nice. This will be possible after Sir Jim Ratcliffe's part takeover. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's investment into Manchester United could see the club kicked out of Europe next season, according to reports. The British billionaire is waiting to formalize a £1.3 billion deal with the Glazer family for a 25% stake at the Premier League club. Many United fans are hoping that Ratcliffe's imminent arrival will see a U-turn in the club's fortunes, especially considering the overhaul in the club's hierarchy that is expected. However, one aspect that some United fans have overlooked is how their European prospects may take a dent following Ratcliffe's investment in the club. This is because Ratcliffe and Ineos Group also own French side Nice, who are currently second in League One and just one point behind leader PSG. While Ratcliffe may have been excited at the potential prospect of both his teams competing in the Champions League, his dreams have quickly come crashing down. This is down to UEFA's multi-club ownership rules, according to The Sun, which state that if both teams finish in a Champions League spot, the team that finishes higher of the two gets the place with the other banned from Europe.